Hello, everybody. So, I've got jury duty. Um, so, instead of finishing our Kant lecture, we're going to still talk about Kant, kind of. I want us to explore something that uh, we're going to be looking at through the Kantian lens later. But I just want to get your ideas out um, about truth, deception, lying, all that kind of good stuff. So, in the text box, tell me what do you think? What? What even is a lie? Remember, all good philosophers start with a definition. What What is a lie? Can you lie to yourself? What do you think about that? Is something a lie even if the speaker believes it to be true? Is an exaggeration a lie? Explain why you think so or not. Is it a lie even if the listener isn't even interested in hearing the truth? Can a lie be true in a way? If so, how so? Now I want you to respond to this quote by Zarathustra. He said, no happiness can be yours if the lie demon drives the chariot of your lives. Respond to that. What are your thoughts? What do you think he's saying? Agree, disagree, reactions, whatever you'd like. Here's another one from the Bible I'd like you to think about. A righteous man hates lying. Do you agree, disagree, thoughts, feelings, reactions? From Dante's Inferno, on the level of the of hell um, about liars, he said, putrid fever makes them reek with a stench. He's talking about people who are being punished in hell for lying, that a putrid fever makes them reek with a stench. Why might Dante have put liars in hell and gave them this punishment. Do you agree that that's a, a fair punishment? Or what do you think he's trying to metaphorically say here? Because he always thought there was a kind of symbolic, metaphorical kind of punishment fits the crime. How might a putrid fever that makes you reek with a stench somehow be connected with what lying is? This is from the Quran. Do not mix truth with falsehood or hide the truth when you know it. Respond to this passage. What do you think? Do you agree with this? Disagree with this? Thoughts, feelings, reactions? And this is from Dostoevsky's brothers Karamazov. He said, <clears throat> abhor dishonesty any kind of dishonesty, but above all dishonesty with regard to your own self. What do you think he meant by that? Do you agree, disagree, thoughts, feelings? Why is lying thought to be wrong? What do you think? Why do we value truth? Why do we value knowledge? Is the purpose of speech to exchange truths? If not, what is the purpose of speech? Or what else could it be besides exchanging truths? Here's another quote from the Bible, John 8.32. The truth will set you free. Is there a relationship between truth and freedom? If so, how so? If not, why not? Is lying harmful? If so, how so? If not, how not? Are all wrong actions harmful? And here's good old Immanuel Kant. Respond to this quote from him. 
Lying is mean and makes human beings unworthy of happiness. What are your thoughts, feelings, reactions to this one? Agree, disagree? All right, everybody. And why did we do this? Because we will talk when we get back from the break about what would Kant do about lying. But I wanted to hear you guys thought about lying and deception first. We will go over this a little bit about what your thoughts were before we continue um, with this video, just so we can kind of recap what we had typed out a little bit. I hope you have a lovely Thanksgiving break. And I'm so sorry I didn't get to say so in person. And I will see you in about nine days. Have a good restful break, everybody. Bye-bye.